My name is Mauricio. I'm so happy to be here. And I only have 10 minutes to motivate you to keep trying and working hard until you find a job that doesn't feel like a job. And I hope this works too. There you go. Particularly, I'm going to speak, I'm going to describe the 10 steps I took to become a freelance WordPress developer after failing in two attempts, or maybe that should say after learning two big lessons on how not to do it. Today, after 17 years, more or less, of career, I could say that my job is not a job, but a passion. And it is because of this passion that I wake up every single morning with a big smile, full of energy, and it motivates me to work harder and harder. It will make me really happy to know that at least one of these 10 steps can help you to find, to search, or to start a new job. So without any further delay, these are the 10 steps. First of all, we need to save money. Nobody wants to jump to a swimming pool without knowing if it has water or not. And it's exactly the same if you want to make a change in our work career. For that reason, we're going to save money for at least six months. During this period, we have enough time to prepare everything we need to find new clients. And also, we need to save extra money in case of emergency. If something goes wrong, we can use this money and this time to recover our old job or to get a new one. That was easy. Everybody knows how to save money. Now comes the most terrifying step of all of it. We need to be on the edge, take courage, and jump. And begging the swimming pool has water. What, would you, what you need to do is to notice in advance, legally, check in your country how many days you need to notice in advance legally. Also, if you want to be more cautious, you can take an unpaid leave. It's optional, but if you want, you can explain the reasons to your boss, to your company, why are you quitting? I did it, and after three months, the company I was working for, they became my client with a very important project, so who knows? And the last one is the most important point on this slide. Do always things right, because you can know if in the future you will have the need to knock at the same door. My God, we did it. We quit our steady job. Take a deep breath. It's okay. Believe me. We need to follow the rest of the steps. And the first thing we need to do is to set a name to our project. We need to decide if it's going to be a fictitious name or our personal name. In my case, it's just my name, Mau Helves. Very clever, right? You can find me in my digital life as Mau Helves everywhere. Website, Instagram account, WordPress account, everywhere. You have to choose wisely. Take your time, because this name will go with you for a long, long time. And once you picked that name, you will need to create or hire a professional designer to help you with the logo, the typography, choosing colors, email templates, and a big etc. And also, you will have to create a website using WordPress. In that website, you will describe all the services or products you are going to offer in the new stage of your life. OK, by now, only you, your ex-boss, your family, and maybe a designer know about your project. So it's time to promote yourself. But you have to be careful, because you only have one bullet. We're going to use this bullet to send one single, please, one single email to all our personal contacts personal contacts, be careful with the GDPR. In this very concise, short, and well-prepared email, we are going to describe the step we are taking and the new services or products we are offering, and we are going to send it. Luckily, this email will reach 100 people. That's the average of people we know. But if every one of those 100 people knows another 100 people, we are reaching indirectly 10,000 possible customers, new clients. So take your time, write the email, and shoot your first email marketing campaign. There are many, many reasons why you should be creating content, not only writing a blog. You can be an Instagrammer, a YouTuber, whatever you do. It would make us better professionals. Sometimes we need to research a small point 
to finish an article, and that new knowledge, we can reuse it to bring solutions to our clients. It will increase your self-esteem. I can tell you that it's really gratifying waking up in the morning and receiving emails, comments from people all around the world saying, Mauricio, thank you so much because your article really helped me to solve a problem. But being exposed, it will also create haters and you need to be strong to confront that situation. And of course, it will position our brand in search, search engines. You know that you are not alone. There are a bunch of really nice guys out there with the same interests of yours. They gather at least once a month and they are called WordPress meetups. There are hundreds of them, 607 to be more specific. So I'm pretty sure that you have a WordPress meetup in your city. And in case you don't, you are in the right place. Please get in touch with the community team because maybe you are the next organizer of the WordPress meetup number 608. So this is the perfect place. Signed up, attend to the meetings, learn from the best professional in your local city, and it's the best place also to be a speaker, to share your knowledge with your local community. Believe me, this is a, a small step, but it can literally change your life. Join WordCamps. Do I really need to explain what are the benefits of going to a WordCamp? Take a good look around you. We have the best speakers sharing their knowledge on stage. Around you, there are friends from all over the world. Outside the room, we have the best companies using WordPress, so you should go there and talk with them. And also, it's the best place to get involved in the community. In the contributor day, attending, organizing, volunteering, or why not being a speaker. So congratulations to you for being here, and I hope to see you in next WordCamps too. Do not working. Do you know the phrase, unity makes strength? That's what we need to do. Make the effort, go out, go to different work camps and also other events. And there you will find friends, you will find partners, and maybe companies that are looking for the services you are offering. And also, I know that you can be a little bit shy, but make that tiny effort to start the conversation. For example, the organizers of the work camp, they had a really great idea to include the ask me about section in your badges, so fill it out, and in the next coffee break, use it. Start a new conversation with someone new. I am very fan of the business cards, but if you use them, it can be also a very good starting point. Keep learning. If you want to survive as a freelancer, you need to be updated with the latest technologies and all the news around WordPress. But I shouldn't be really saying this. We all need to be updated in whatever work we do. Thanks to WordPress, we have thousands of blogs around the world in different languages. They are out there. We have the miracle of WordPress TV, a platform where it's archived all these talks from WordCamps and Meetups. We also have online courses. They are cheap, they have really good content where we can learn. What I mean is the knowledge is out there. It all depends on, on us. We need to be proactive. We need to be very professional, self-taught. If we reach this point, the number nine, I'm pretty sure you already have clients. So now it's time to take care of them. You need to understand that your clients aren't actually your clients, but your partners. That's why you need to be implied in the project. Because if your client does well, you in turn do well too. Get implied in the project, feel it as yours. Bring solutions so they can reach their goals. Earn their confidence. If you are promising deadlines, Please, make it right. Keep a fluid communication and let them know at any time the state of the project. And I know that there are projects that are bed of roses, but there we are us, always with a smile, being productive, and always looking to keep the relationship and the projects in a very good state. So, to sum up, you need to save money, you need to take the step, the most terrifying one, you need to brand yourself, Promote yourself, create content. You need to show meetups and WordPress. Do networking, don't be alone. Keep learning, and finally, take care of your clients. My name is Mauricio Helves, and thank you very much for being here. Thank you. You line up for questions, I'm gonna ask mine first. 
So give us an example of a nice way to approach someone you don't know and talk about your work and kind of promote yourself in a, in a formal environment like this work camp. Sorry, again, please, please put that. Like you recommended to people that they should do more networking, yeah. right? But, you know, it's quite scary to just go and start talking to people. How do you approach that? How do you do it? Um, yes, it is hard. I'm shy too. It's not, it's not easy for me to. Uh, what I do, uh, I just go out and grab a coffee and if I see someone with a t-shirt or someone, I just send a stupid question and that's it. It's like taking someone out to dance, it's like even the first step and that's it. Then we'll start the conversation and who knows, maybe you can start a new business, whatever. Have you found a lot of clients at work camps? Uh, yes, I've been in a lot of work camps and I met many, many, many people and I feel so happy to have friends from all over the world. I feel really, really, really I'm so fortunate about <laughs> it. I, right. I met you, that's it. Well, <laughs> that's personal. All right, uh, any other questions? No, anybody at the mic? Yeah, go ahead. Hey, thanks for the talk. Thank um, you. You're freelancing now. Do you see it as something inevitable, becoming an agency, or do you, do you see yourself running, running an agency at some point, or would you prefer to stay as a freelance, do you think it's that something inevitable? What's your view that, on that? That's Thank a you. very good question. Um, you can never know. You, I, I know the needs I have right now. Freelancer is what I need right now to be happy. Maybe in the future, I don't know, I can start an agency, I can, I can go back to big, bigger companies. I'm doing right now what is good for me. It's, I don't know what will happen uh, in two years. I, if I may just like a quick follow up. What, is there uh, any specific thing that would uh, make you go back to a company, one specific thing that you miss? Uh, can you imagine what would make you go back to working at a company? Uh, that's a good question too. Let me think about that. Um, it has to be something that really motivates me to get involved in a company, a project. Uh, if it's a product, I really truly believe in that product. Um, it could be, you know, sometimes can happen really bad things and you need more fixed salary. And in that case, I should probably think to go back to a company. But at the moment, I will keep this life. Thank you. Thank you, Alvaro. Anyone else? Yeah, go ahead. Um, hi. Uh, do you recommend uh, using uh, services like Freelancer, uh, Upwork, and etc.? And if the answer is yes, uh, do you have any recommendations or, or tips on using them? Yes, Thank that you. to use tools like that is very useful. But in my case, I didn't have the need to use it because creating content, a lot of people know me and they know what I, what I can do as a professional. So they reach me through my website in the contact form and they are asking me for helping them to make new jobs, new projects, whatever. But if I don't get contact, I would definitely use tho those tools. But I can give you any advice on, on those. Thank you. All right. One more question for me. Oh, Laura has a question. Okay. Yesterday night, you were applying, uh, your client at night. I saw you, so <laughs> not say no. Okay. Uh, in which way you are managing your time? My way is not for everybody. Yes, she saw me yesterday sending some messages where we were at the party, at the volunteer and social, and I told her, yeah, I know that it, this is not the moment to send this kind of message, but it's like an equilibrium in your life. I'm sending this and I'm losing time maybe speaking with you because I know that I have so many benefits on the other side. For example, being here in Belgrade, I couldn't have done this if I was working for the same company I was working for. So I, I'm pretty conscious of, of this equilibrium and I don't care of sending or answering message at any time. That's, the pay, that's, the, the, that's what I'm paying for being a freelancer, a digital nomad, and I will still keep doing it. But it's my way, I'm not recommended to everyone. Okay, last question then from me. Um, so you travel a lot you freelance and you also contribute to work to WordPress quite yes, a bit. Yes, you I contribute do. to the um, WordPress TV team, you go and speak at WordCamps. Um, how is that 
um, working for you in terms of managing your time and are you do you feel like you're maybe working longer hours than you have to um, you take enough rest yeah sometimes it's really hard sometimes i find myself working so many hours for the community uh, because i'm in very involved in the spanish community and also working for wordpress tv internationally and when that happens i'm i'm not ashamed to say hey i need to quit for a few days like for example i did in the WordPress meetup in Madrid, I told the co-organizer, listen, I, I just need to go out for some times, and it's more than okay, you just need to express it, to say that out loud, and they will understand. And that's how I manage my time, with the community and my job. I, I, try, to, I try not to, get to, to lose the balance between both of them. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank uh, you so much. Let's give them a round of applause. Thanks, Mauricio.